Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm here at Jason's Garage. This is Jason. Go look him up, no insta Jason on Instagram. And uh, we're here at his garage. Why are we here at his garage? Well, because of that. <laughs> it is new bike day. Now I'll be honest, this thing has been sitting in my garage for three days because I've been so busy between work and family life. It arrived and I was excited, but I've been holding off till this day. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna see what it is. It's gonna be the big reveal and we'll talk a little bit about it. And then I'm gonna let you know what I'm gonna be doing next at the end of this video. All right, ready Jason? I'm in my pajamas, let's go. He's in jammies, let's do it. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Bridger, Bridger, thank you. Enjoy the... I this see bike. what the name says. No, it we're not showing yet. We're not Ooh. showing it yet. Scan assembly video. I'm going to do the old school right now. Let's go. Now it's all wrapped, so you can't really exactly see what it is. One. Tire. We got an Axis. It's an interesting brake charger. <laughs> See your Rock Shocks Deluxe Select. Deluxe Select. Shock. That's right. Yeah. Some silver metallic paint. Some silver. I see the Zari logo. As you, you already knew that was good. Yeah, the down tube's a little bit bigger than I'm used to seeing, though. I wonder why. It's strange. Why would you need that? I don't know. And you've got a lovely reflector, and then, I don't know, this <laughs> cool, like, metallic thing on that spoke. Like, we could just take that off, I bet. Yeah, so I can do reflectors. I think we can take that It's off. not going to be important. Re reflectors, really? I guess it's a safety rule. Kind of one of those things you have to. Got a chain guard. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, it's starting to look like a bicycle. It is. I like it. I think it's, uh, but it might be a little bit more than that. What is that? Is that is that motor? No, wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Bobby. This is an e-bike. Are you sure? I I see a motor. That's a Shimano EPA motor, Bobby. Uh oh. What did you do? I don't know. I might have just broken some rules. There it is, there's the battery chamber. Oh, it's go. Oh, don't fall. Oh my uh -oh. gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Who am I going to beat up the climbs now? <laughs> Man. Oh. That's okay, because I don't think I'm going to be the only one in our plan with one of these for long. Yeah? Who else is getting in? <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. Engaged. Alright, let's get this in the rack. Whoa. It stands. Look at that. I'm going to bring this in a little bit closer. Look at that. So we can get a better look at that. This. Silver and black. So what is, let's see what else we got in this. Like this little green, pop of green from the O-ring on the fork. Yeah, 
The DVO Diamond. DVO Diamond Fork. Ooh. Now don't get too crazy with this. I'll explain why a little later. But that does look nice. I like you know that. what I think we should do with that I DVO like, Diamonds? I like that matte black. It's a 160, right? It is. We should, uh, we should just take this off and put it on my Delano <laughs> Peak. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> All right, so as you can tell, this is, I mean, we don't have the handlebars on yet, but we'll put those on here in a minute. But uh, it is the Fazari Wire Peak. Now this is the Elite build. And you might be wondering, why did I get the Elite build? Why didn't I get the Pro build? Well, a couple of reasons. Um, one, I'm gonna be doing some changes. I gotta, I'm gonna customize this. I'm going to replace the suspension. I'm gonna replace the brakes, and I will show you all, show you guys all that in a later video. Um, and so I didn't want to spend the money for the pro build because I wasn't going to keep hardly any of that. Now you might say, well, why didn't you just get the you know the comp build? You know, save me more money. Well, I really wanted the the EP8, the EP8 motor that Fazari puts on the Wire Peak only comes in the Elite or the Pro build. So that's why I mm -hmm. wanted to go ahead and get the Elite. And then I want to swap some things out. We're going to customize it. We're going to add a little bling to it. Swap the wheels out. All those fun things. So uh, Jason and I are going to finish putting this together. But I wanted this to just be a quick video showing you guys what it was, what it is, what, I'm, what my new ride is going to be. And, and you know, I just got this mainly just because I wanted to go further. It wasn't to make things easier. I'm going to keep my LaSalle Peak, my Enduro bike. <laughs> I think Jason's calling BS on that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, man, yeah, some things will be easier, but it's easier so I can go farther and do more. And so that was the main point of doing all this. And so I will keep updating you guys on how it's going. We'll do another video talking about what I'm gonna replace on this, like I mentioned already, and just more detail. I'm gonna to go to Gene, my friend Gene at East Cycle Works down in Chattanooga. We're gonna set all that stuff up. And then uh, obviously we'll do some trail videos, see how it goes. I'm gonna shoot uh, Jason riding it, probably more than I will, because he'll be stealing it from me. <laughs> Don't tell anybody else though. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and we'll go over everything, all the details about the bike and all those things. This was just a simple un unboxing video to reveal what the new bike is. All right, so guys, thanks for watching. Until the next time, live, learn, and send it. It's never too late to start. Boom, bam. We'll see you guys.